Seen from a Highway in the Desert, 1989. First draft. I let the car drift some. Ah, your uncomfortable pose and profile. The postures of long drives, shifting them in sore parts when you can no longer sit them. Foot on the dash, foot on the dash. X hours or so from some somewhere now, only half aware when I change lanes half accidentally. Vision fixed in the distance, identifying wildflowers. Then I almost touch your leg, but something stays me. The economy of love in close quarters, a learned thing. A contrast I mark quietly alone. Of the small rented spaces we've slept in, tense even sometimes in this tiny castle, but hurtling uncertain to the unfurling forever of here. Which it does to me, the desert has effects. Makes me mark things needlessly. The immensity and breadth of the whole, I guess. Over amplifying, over connecting. Makes me see all small simplicities significant and substantial. Makes me seek out symbolism, and search in the symmetry for some lost statements of the self, these words that hiss or make snake sounds. But it feels holy almost, though I don't say so. A native sense, but not skeletons and headdresses. No projections found in thunderclouds shaped by soundless lightning. It is an extra sense, a Pentecostal thing, unnameable and great, an immortal unknowing, sacred and ancestral and real, and only felt here when the sun falls. Only felt here now, with the otherworldly haunts of coming dust descending from immeasurable spaces to more immeasurable spaces. An ancient, endless desert sprawl, anarchic. Interrupted only by this highway running west. Some wound, maybe, or a bandage, depending on how you look at it. Or maybe just what must marry the two vast expanses. A mirror reflecting both sides, but our path more than anything. And who cares what? A bridge through loop history and a place where your watch doesn't work. A guide through wider spaces of the magnitude unclaimed except in concrete to the place we might claim one day, someday. You and I, for us when we get to wherever it is we are going. And you speak one flower named Rye, single landmark now, immemorial now, and the landscape that always passes but never passes does find me, and we see time again. We remember the mirror pointing backwards, all of a sudden watching the paintbrush shrinking in the last light. And then I think again to touch your leg when something stays me, some voice, yours and mine, Combined, and the rain comes saying quiet first and then just sit. So I crack my window just so, almost close my eyes and almost let go of the steering wheel, but don't. It feels impossible for me to crash the car while we are in it.